Let's move on now to our second main topic today. And our second main topic today gets sent in to us from David Riley, who writes, For Infinity War and Endgame, we got trailers with footage that doesn't appear in the films. Uh, some they probably knew wasn't gonna, going to appear. I don't know how things work in America, but in England, when we get a game trailer that doesn't have footage from the game, that fact has to be highlighted on screen. Why is this not the case for movies? Uh, thanks and keep up the filthy. All right. Thanks a lot for sending that in, in, David. You know what? We talk, one of the big topics we like to talk about around here on the show, because it keeps coming up because of the trailers, is, you know, when trailers come out and then we go see the movie and scenes that were in the trailer are not in the movie. That just came up again recently with Spider-Man Far From Home, right? There are so several scenes in the trailers for Spider-Man Far From Home that don't pop up and don't appear in the movie itself. So it keeps coming up and it's understandable that it keeps coming up. I would suggest though, the practice, because I believe it's also a rule here in North America, like when I'm seeing a video game movie and it's like an animated thing for marketing sakes and it's not actually what the gameplay looks like, I always see a little warning come up on the screen, not actual gameplay footage. You know, they, they always put that up on screen. I would suggest that there is a massive difference between video games needing to put up a warning like that and say movies uh, maybe being required to give something like that. And, and here's why I think it's a big difference. For a video game, when you're putting up say animated stuff that was specifically made for the marketing and doesn't reflect at all what the actual gameplay looks like, you're in a position there of completely misleading the audience as to what their gameplay experience is going to be like. like. Like, for instance, if you've got a game, let me just use some hyperbole here just for, for a fact, okay? Just to make the case. Let's say you've got a video game that is like a bit, kind of like 8-bit, right? But, but really boxing 8-bit, right? But when you watch the commercials, they do a good CGI animation of it, right? Just to kind of, you know, tell the story of the game, whatever. If the commercials were allowed to let the audience think that's what the game looks like, then that is a total misleading of the potential customer as to what that game experience is going to be like. The game is nothing like that. The game footage, the actual gameplay looks and feels like this. It's a completely different experience they would be marketing. Therefore, you know, putting in these little warnings, hey, this animated thing you're seeing here, not actual game footage, okay? It's just highlighting kind of the feel of the game or the story of the game or, or whatever, but this is an actual game footage. That's important because it represents saying, this is what our game experience is like when it's really not at all. In movies, you know, when a clip from a movie, a shot from a, a movie isn't in the movie, but is in the trailer, that doesn't completely represent the entire movie experience, unlike video game footage that isn't actually from the game, misrepresents what the entire game experience was like. For instance, let's take this shot here. This is a shot from a trailer for Star Wars Rogue One, right? Vader with his back looking at one of those classic Star Wars star map sort of things. Uh, it's, it's an iconic shot from the trailer, was not in the movie. Did the inclusion of this one shot give a complete misrepresented picture of what this movie was going to be and what it was going to feel like? No, didn't at all. And Vader is in the movie, right? It's a shot that apparently was going to be in the movie at some point. The trailer houses put the trailers together months and months and months and months in advance before it probably got cut out of the movie. It ended up being in the trailer, but it doesn't misrepresent the overall experience of what the movie is, unlike the video game stuff. The video game stuff can be a complete misrepresentation of what's in the movie, right? So we see stuff, I mean, even stuff like this, remember? Sticking with Spider-Man, going into Spider-Man Homecoming, you know, there was this big shot in the Spider-Man Homecoming trailer with Spider-Man and Iron Man swinging and flying through the city together, apparently going off to save the day. That's not in the movie. That shot's not in the movie. But I think they even used this image in some posters, but it's not in the movie. But then again, we got to ask ourselves, does this image, even though it's not in the movie, completely misrepresent 
the entirety of what the audience's experience is going to be with this movie? No. Iron Man is a figure in the movie. Spider-Man is a figure in the movie. Iron Man does have to fly in and save the day at one point. I mean, so no, it's not in the movie, but it's not, it doesn't represent a complete misrepresentation of what the movie and the experience is. Look, we've talked about this before. It's not unusual for movies movie trailers to have shots that aren't ultimately going to be in the films because, again, these trailer houses get commissioned to put these trailers together ages before the movies come out, and sometimes the final edit's not done, and sometimes the final cut gets done, and some of the footage they gave the trailer houses to make the trailer out of doesn't end up being in the movie. It's really nothing more nefarious than that. Now, of course, you get a situation like Hulk in the Infinity War trailer, that was a specific misdirect, and, and that's true. But again, I would contend that it does not in and of itself represent a complete misrepresentation of what the feel and DNA of that movie is. On the contrary, it actually goes towards the feel of the movie. So, yeah, I, I would see them as very different things. What the standards you got to put on the video games, which does represent the experience for the audience and the consumer with their game, as opposed to a shot or two in a trailer that doesn't end up being in the movie. Anyway, that's just the way I think. What do you guys think about that? Do you think maybe studios, it should be incumbent upon them that if a shot is in a trailer for their movie that isn't actually in the movie, they should put up a little warning in the trailer that says, this shot not in movie. Or do you really think it's not a big deal? Jump down in the comment section below and let me know what you think. All right.